All right, hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, today, this is just a quick tip tutorial, and uh, this tutorial is actually going to lead up into a tutorial I'm hoping to release sometime next week, preferably Monday, but maybe on Friday. And uh, today, what we're going to be talking about is uh, particle systems. And uh, while we talked about particle systems uh, a few videos ago, today we're going to talk about using textures to influence uh, various particle system values. So we're going to jump right in today, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a plane. Yep, that's right, right here. So you see we have our plane. We're going to scale this up to, and uh, we're just going to go 7 to look at it from the top view, and we're going to go into wireframe mode. Now, uh, we're going to layer 2. We're going to add a mesh, and it's going to be the monkey head. And uh, now if we go right back out of uh, wireframe for a second, we're going to put this as smooth, and then we're going to just, actually we're going to leave it as flat, um, just this is just a quick display purpose. So now we have uh, Suzanne on layer 2 here, and on layer 1 we have our plane. And uh, we don't actually need to go into wireframe mode, I was thinking about something else. But So now we're going to go first over to particles. We're going to create a new particle system. We're going to label this 100, and uh, now you'll see here, just you know, default particle system, they're all going to fall down just like that. And we can actually do no physics here, and now if you see, they're just going to randomly pop up and they're going to disappear. And uh, we're going to keep everything else here. Uh, just the way it is and now we're going to go once you have to make sure this is important that you go from the particles tab to the textures tab or if you're on material and you go to texture that you end up clicking on this particle button over here because this is the textures for the particle system so we're gonna go ahead and add a new and then we're gonna add a blend to uh, display uh, values more clearly than uh, clouds because it's not gonna be as obvious as with this uh, blend file blend right here. So now we have our blend texture and uh, we can see everything here is just like normal and uh, we're gonna make this easing as well just to make it a nice nicer thing here and now you see there are various different influences here and this is really what we want to focus on. The influences here are gonna uh, affect various parts of our particle system and you can use any texture including image textures to influence all of these uh, values here and so this allows us to more fine have more of a fine point control over particle systems and it allows us to do some really cool stuff. Like for instance right now, so if we uncheck this time here and we press Alt A, there, uh, the points as you see in wireframe mode, they just pop up in random points and then, then you know they expire their lifetime and they disappear. But what we can do that's really cool is if we check time here and now we press Alt A, you'll notice that they slowly come across here because uh, the black value here to white value here in the texture. So that's pretty cool. So basically you're affecting black to white. White will be later and black will be um, earlier. So the black will be first and white will be last and it'll just slowly go across just like that. Um, so it can affect several other things. For instance, uh, the lifetime of the particles. So uh, particles on this half are going to have a longer lifetime, I believe, than the particles on this half. So we'll notice how quickly these ones over here are going away, whereas these ones are staying a bit longer. And uh, we're going to see this a little bit more accurately if we go back over to our particles tab and we select object and then we select our Suzanne here just for uh, display purposes and we go 0.25 size. That should be reasonable. Yeah, so see, we now see that uh, our Suzanne here is good. And then um, we want to change the random size to zero just to make sure that's all even. So now if we go over here, you'll see that uh, these ones over here very quickly pop up, whereas these ones over here are taking longer and longer because the white value says that the lifetime is longer and the black value says the lifetime is shorter. So if we go back over to time really quickly, you can see that the Suzanne slowly sweep across here with the time texture. And you can change this too by scaling it along the X various bits and it'll allow the, uh, this, this line of Suzanne's here to be longer or shorter based on the scaling you have. So we can also see the density, which um, basically the black is going to be mean less Suzanne's and the white is going to mean more Suzanne's are generated. So we can control where part of particles are generated based on this texture as well. We can also in, do the size, I believe. Yes, and I think this should work. Um, no, maybe not. Uh, I think if we change random size to one. Hmm, no, not at all. Um, I don't know. Uh, some of these I haven't really experimented with myself. I've never experimented with size, so I don't always know. And for hair and stuff, this is not going to affect it because it's not a hair simulation. Um, these physics ones, of course, are not going to affect it as well because I don't actually have any physics. But um, uh, they basically the same thing happens here. And so we can do this with all sorts of textures. Um, we can do this with the wood texture. So, uh, for instance, if we do time instead, you'll see here that it's hard to see once again. Like, this is why we chose the blend texture to show because it's a bit harder to see. But... Um, you can see here now that 
mm, see they're, they're kind of getting generated around a ring you can almost see the circles but uh not necessarily and so actually what we can do here is we can have this start on one and end on three so now mm, nope maybe not start on one end on 100 maybe change this number up a bit yeah so now you can see here with our rings uh with a little bit more particles that they're being generated more in the white areas of our texture and less in the black areas of our texture so you know there's that as well so you can see here I'm getting more of a target shape and you could do all sorts of really cool things with these and uh we're going to talk about more of that uh this this um, particular effect to create wipes in the uh video sequence editor um in our next tutorial along with several other things but uh yeah, that's uh, about all we have time for today in our tutorial. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, subscribe. Thank you.